Hello, and welcome to Next Level Solutions webinar on targeted advertising. I am Melissa Pease, owner and founder of Next Level Solutions. We are super excited that you've joined this webinar today to learn more about the hottest and most effective way of advertising, and quite honestly, the coolest thing since sliced bread. This is a brief introduction on targeted advertising, how it all works, and the strategies that we offer to help reach your ideal customer. Let's get started. Why advertise online? How people search for products and services has changed more than ever before. We go to the internet for literally everything. You want to see how your favorite sports team did last night? You check it out online. You want to see what the weather is going to look like in two days because you want to get away for the weekend? You go online. What about those shoes that you've been eyeballing? You've got to see if they finally have gone on sale. Check it out online. 86% of all mobile display ads in the U.S. will be targeted ads by 2020. That's what this webinar is all about. 93% of online traffic to business websites comes from search engines. And let's be honest, your competition's there. So yes, you should be advertising online. Programmatic, otherwise known as targeted advertising, has been around for years. It's only been the last few years that more and more companies of all sizes are using it. It's the most effective, most affordable type of advertising currently on the market, and wait for it, only reaching those individuals looking for your products and services now. No more spraying your message across a variety of platforms and hoping the right customer sees your ad at that time. Take a look at this video. What is targeted advertising? If you've spent any time on the internet looking for a service or shopping, I'll guarantee you've seen an ad. Perhaps you've put something in a shopping cart online in hopes of getting back to it later to purchase. Notice there's an ad for that item popping up? That's targeted advertising. They are trying to get you back to their site. This is currently the number one way of advertising. Doesn't it make sense to target those individuals who are looking for your services now? We think so. Everybody wants to know, where will my ads appear? Well, this gives you an idea of some of the sites that we partner with. But at the end of the day, the most important takeaway here is to realize that we are following the end user. And what does that mean? I'm not placing an ad for your services on, let's say, CNN, hoping that the right person just happens upon CNN and sees your ad. That's not how this works. So we are following the individual that just searched for your services in the geographic area that you cover, and now we're serving ads on sites that they visit. Mind blown, right? This happens within microseconds. So quite honestly, we could serve your ad on Forbes, but we also could serve your ad on your local TV station's website. We could serve it on a mobile website of any kind or a variety of apps, but the end of the day we are following the user that just searched for your products and services and serving them an ad wherever they happen to go devices 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 we deliver ads on all devices once again we're just simply following that end user so whether or not they're searching for your products and services on a smartphone or from a desktop they will see your ad everything we do is geographically based but your options are endless we can select a state or perhaps three states. We can also select the city that you do the bulk of your business in, but we can also select the five surrounding cities to help you grow that business. We're also able to use a list of zip codes and well, we can actually do a mile radius or five mile radius from your front door of your business. Let's get to the fun stuff and show you what we can do. Site retargeting. Site retargeting is the most common type of targeted ads that most of us have seen. So let's say you're doing a little shopping on Amazon. 
and you're poking around, you're checking out a few items, and then you end up leaving that site. Next time you're on the internet, you see those items, and well, they're kind of following you around. They're reminding you to come back to the site. And in today's world, more and more of us are looking at all of our options, which means I'm probably going to land on your website at some point, but I'm also probably going to check out your competition site. What is going to remind me I'm choosing you? Why am I going to pick your business over anyone else's? And perhaps it's as simple as just being reminded of an ad. Geofencing, we do a lot of geofencing. Imagine this, a virtual fence around your competition's business over an event or a concert that's coming into town. What about a trade show? that you're either attending or want to attend, but don't have the time or the manpower to be at that event. We can geofence any event, any location. All we need is the actual address, days and times you would like us to geofence those areas, and we will serve ads to those phones for anyone who walks in those parameters. So whether it be your competition's front door, or maybe people are lining up for the concerts, as long as they have their mobile device on them. Next time they are on the internet, they will see your ad. Here's a really cool video on how that all works. At Next Level Solutions, we have the ability to target your competition's customers. That's right. Everyone who enters your competitor's business with a mobile device would be identified and served an ad for your business the next time they are on the internet. This technology is called geofencing. We can geofence anything, a building, an event, and yes, even your competition. Previous customers you haven't seen in a while, you are reaching people who already believe in this type of business or service. Simply knowing they have options is often all it takes. Let Next Level Solutions take your business to the next level. Search retargeting. Imagine this. I'm a 20-something year old individual who wants to see what it's going to take to buy my first house. So I'm going to go to Google and Google's going to answer all my questions. But I might search for things like what's a mortgage rate? What should I look for when buying my first home? Who's the best realtor in town? And how much is this going to cost me? And you already know I'm based in San Antonio. So now based off things I've searched for, I might be a great candidate for a mortgage loan or the best realtor in town should probably serve me their ad. Or what about a bank who's offering a special discount for first-time homeowners? This is what search retargeting is all about. And quite honestly, this is the definition of targeted advertising. Reaching the individuals who are searching for your products now. Why would you not want to do this? Contextual. Oh, I like this one a lot. So this allows us, based off of what you are consuming your minds with, so what information are you wanting to get more and more of? An example here is I'm looking for home improvement and how I can improve my house. And we already know that I'm based in San Antonio. So a great option here, or I might be a great candidate to serve me an ad for a home equity line of credit. Or what if you're a local bank, but you can flip a loan to me really quick. Better yet, what if you're a credit union and you have the lowest interest rate to offer? Wouldn't I want to see your ad based off of what I'm searching for? This ad is delivered based only off of the information the consumer is reading up on, what category they're reading up on, what sort of pages they're going to, what sort of keywords are physically on that content. Now we're able to serve them an ad. Pretty cool, huh? Behavioral strategy is something we offer across all of our campaigns and give me just a minute because your mind's about to be blown. So we're able to collect data off of an individual's web browsing history, pages you've been to, the searches you've might have made, quite honestly, even the purchases you've made. And now with that data, we're able to serve ads that make the most amount of sense to you. A product you might be interested in because of what you've searched for in the past or what you've purchased purchased in the past. So this is a really great option for targeted advertising that you don't get with TV or radio. We're now going to serve an ad to somebody based off of their browsing history because they're more likely to click on it or purchase it or learn more. Here's another really cool video.
You ever wonder why you get some of the ads that you get these days? Like, why are they targeting you with particular ads? Like this one, hair loss. Why am I getting this ad? That guy should be getting this ad. If you don't think targeted ads done right work, you're seeing this because I targeted you. What if your business was mostly men over the age of 25? Well, with demographic, we could layer that into your campaign. What if you were a high-end luxury auto dealership? And let's be honest, not everyone can pay for those fancy cars. So why serve them an ad for a car that is not in their price range? What if we only served ads to individuals who made more than a half a million dollars a year? Now when they see these ads, they get a little excited because because they actually have the means to purchase the vehicles that they're seeing in these ads. I'll give you a great example. We deal with a nonprofit that has a teenage drinking program. And so what we've done for this particular campaign is we look at family size, where we're asking that there would be at least one child in the home. That child needs to be over the age of 10. We have chosen both married individuals as well as single individuals. Now, when people are seeing this ad, it makes more sense. They will Will more likely click on it and learn about teenage drinking and perhaps the signs that maybe Tommy or Jenny are starting to show signs of and they just weren't realizing it. So with demographic, we're able to get in front of people that make more sense and the items that they have the funds to purchase or the information matters to them because they have kids in a certain age group. You can see how this would just simply be beneficial. So remember how we were talking about geofencing earlier? Address IQ is geofencing on a whole nother level. I will be honest with you, we do a lot of address IQ. How this works is we're able to geofence houses and we are able to serve them an ad for your products or services. So how this works is we are able to, you give us a database and we can serve them an ad. So if it's uh, clients you haven't seen in two or three years, what if it's it's, uh, you have a barbecue special coming up and you want those individuals who have purchased a barbecue from you in the past. Now we can serve an ad directly to their home across multiple devices, letting them know that you have a barbecue special going on. Better yet, what if you just want to thank them for being a customer? You can serve them an ad, letting them know for the month of April, they have 20% off, come into your store and use it. Address IQ is super effective. You're only delivering ads to their past customers who quite honestly are familiar with your services and who are more likely to buy from you. Campaign reporting is something we provide at the end of every month and uh, you can see from the screenshots there some of the details that we provide. We're able to track how many impressions a day and are those impressions shown on desktop versus tablet or are they majority shown on mobile devices? How many people are actually clicking on their ads? And are we seeing more click-throughs, let's say, on a Sunday than we are on a Tuesday? And then we're also able to track on whether or not somebody has seen your ad and then came to one of your locations. That's the type of details, that's the type of reporting that we're able to do here at Next Level Solutions. Search engine optimization. And before you say anything, I do realize it has nothing to do with targeted advertising. And quite frankly, I debated on putting it in this webinar. But here's where I'm at, folks. It's the 21st century. If your website does not have SEO, you are greatly behind the rest of the world. And quite frankly, probably behind your competition as well. We have a dedicated team that all they do is focus on ranking your website higher and higher in the search engines. We also guarantee our work which means if we don't rank you five keywords that are relative to your business, you don't pay us that month. And if you thought our targeted reporting was impressive, you should see the reporting that we provide to you every single month on your SEO services. I can show you where you initially started with us, the growth that we were able to show on your website on month one and on month six. So if you don't have SEO, give us a call.
If you are unhappy with your current results, give us a call. But it is the 21st century, folks. Your website has to have search engine optimization. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope that you found today's webinar educational. If you're interested in learning more about how targeted advertising can benefit your business, we'd love to hear from you. Have a fantastic day.